Hey, I thought I'd just make this uh, quick video. It would be easier to explain. Yeah, as far as the units go, you can switch back and forth effortlessly here. Um, now, in the cut settings, typically, even if you're using imperial measurements, uh, we still talk about speed in millimeters per second. 99% of the laser world talks about speed in millimeters per second. Um, so, even if you switch to inches and now all your units are imperial, um, you can still go in here and notice it's still millimeters per second. So that's fine. You can work in either. Um, you can also do something like, uh, if that needs to be, say you wanted to make that six inches, you could do uh, 50.8 millimeters plus two inches, I N, uh, plus 50.8 millimeters. And it would do that conversion for you in that basic calculation right there in the field. Um, so you can pretty much toggle back and forth where the problem comes in. Um, I'm in millimeters here. I'm going to go to my initial offset or my scanning offset adjustments. And you'll notice that they are in millimeters. And these are correct because these are the values that are on the card. The card's values are in millimeter. If you happen to be in inches and you go back to those settings, you'll notice that they convert to inches here. So if you happen to be in inches and you enter those values in that card here, they're going to be off. And the other thing to watch out for is on the card, a lot of them say one meter per second, which is actually 1,000 millimeters per second. And we've had some people actually put a one in here. So just make sure that you actually make that 1,000 on the last one. So that's where the inches can come into play uh, with the global settings. So whenever you enter the scanning offset adjustments, you do need to be in millimeter mode uh, to enter those in so that they'll be correct with the data that's on the card that we provide. Hope that helps. Thanks.